Green Fen, Timberlake here. Uh, continuing our month of Sudoku. This is a unique puzzle because it is not handmade. Uh, I've been talking to Roy the Geek on Reddit. I've done a shout out to him previously in a tutorial based on uh, some of our discussions. This is the puzzle he sent me. He said, hey, I, I got this through an app. It says I need an alternate inference chain to solve. Is that really true? And so I went through, solved this puzzle. It was very difficult. Uh, but I was able to get through it. And I wanted to share some of those solving strategies with you because I think it's a very good puzzle to uh, study to help you get familiar with some of these strategies. And so with that, it's solving time. And like I said, I have solved this before, so I want to get you through uh, the quick parts of this and kind of explain the different strategies. Uh, so you can see there's naked single two there. I do show all the camps because it's a tough puzzle. Um, seven, eight, seven, eight, naked pair. So we can get rid of these sevens and eights, sevens and eights. Uh, it gives you a one, three, six, naked triple down in block eight. So all the ones and threes and sixes you can get rid of. One, threes and sixes, they can't be there. Something else uh, with the seven, eight, you can get rid of that seven, eight, and that seven, eight. So you now have a four, five, nine, naked triple, seven, eight, one, three, six. This is a three, six. Naked pair going across row eight, so you can get rid of that, three and a six. And what you'll see is, uh, you know, you you can kind of make a, quite a few eliminations here. There's a one, three, five, naked triple. I'll highlight that for your benefit. The one, three, five are limited to those three spots, so you can get rid of the ones, threes, and fives. It gives you a seven, nine, naked pair. That's kind of critical to moving forward in this puzzle. So I wanted to show that to you. And then there's a, uh, we have a hidden single four right here. Um, you can see the fives are like a pointing pair coming up, so that, that can't be a five. Or the fives are a claiming pair for right there. And one, two, three, nine. So you have a one, two, three, nine naked quad. Like ones, two, threes, and nines are all limited to those spots. So that can't be a one, two, three, or nine. And so you notice that that's a five, that's a six. But you're allowed to solve this six and this for three, right? So now you have a two nine right there, a one three right here. Uh, with this two nine, you can get rid of these two nines. And you see, you know, you just keep, you can solve quite a bit. Uh, there's a three, four, nine, naked triple down here. And so with the three, four, nine, you get rid of the three, four, nine, you know, that's gonna be solved for a two. Okay. So that's kind of, you know, a lot of the damage we could do prior to even showing any of the candidates. Now, if we start showing the candidates, uh, I don't see anything here with the ones that we can do. The twos, nothing. The threes, uh, nothing additional for the threes right now. Fours, nothing there. The fives, oh, we did have this single five. Sixes, good. Sevens are good. Eights are good. The nines, I uh, believe, oh, we have a pointing pair of nines. So that's not a nine, that's a two, that's a nine, right? And then with that, uh, you get a one, three, naked pair along row six. So that can't be a one or a three right there. And I believe we're to the spot uh, where we need to start using the alternate inference chain, the, the advanced strategy. Okay, and real quick, I do notice that this is a hidden single three, so that's a three, that's a one. All right, again, you can look, and you're not gonna be able to get much further down with this puzzle. You're gonna need alternate inference chains. So I'm gonna start showing off those. Uh, I've done some previous solves where I've done alternate inference chains. Sailfish comes to mind. There's a couple of others that I've done, uh, Parvarius, if I remember right. Were very tough. I had to use the alternate inference chain to get through them. Uh, I am going to come out with a tutorial soon about how to do AIC type ones. And the difference is it's the same logic you're using as an XY chain or actually an XY wing, turbot fish, X chain. The difference though with the AIC type one, what I'm talking about is when it doesn't fit in you know one or two cell, like an X chain, it's all the same for all the same can't for one cell. Uh, remote pairs and XY chains all the same can't for two cells. But what happens? 
can you do this when there's more than two candidates in the cell? And the answer is yes. You can. And so my tutorial, what I'm going to do here is showing the what if it's more than two in the cell. And so you see that the coloring, you know, if there's two in that house, I'm going to put a color, right? Because that's a strong link. There's a conjugate pair. Uh, this in, you know, this one conjugate pair, these two are conjugate pair. And so I'll mark the green. But you'll notice that this five right here, even though it's in the same house, is uh, I can't mark it because there's three in the block. There's three in the row and three in the column. And then this and this are green and they're both in the same house, but they're not a strongly linked because of this extra five. Uh, keep that in mind. It is one of the limitations of me using this technique of coloring. All right. But see, these are these are these are all just two. So I can mark those. Those are two. I can mark those. Uh, and then the sevens. It's pretty easy when you see a naked pair like that. You know those are going to be uh, strongly linked together. And then we'll go to the eights. And you know, the only two eights in column seven, only two eights here in column six, only two eights here in block one and column two, only two eights right there. So those are helpful. And then to go to the nines. And the nines, there's a strong link right here. It's going to be pretty valuable. And you have a strong link down here with these two and then this nine. Uh, it's going to come into play. And so when you, when you kind of do this, the last thing we're going to do is we look at the by value cells. If you remember, uh, by value cells are strongly linked. The, the candidates inside it are strongly linked to each other. So this five is strongly linked to that nine, right? This size is false. That's true. That nine is false. That's true. And you're also going to look at these cells that have colors in them or their by values because those are the ones that we're focused on. And to have more than one color, like this four, five, nine, like this two, six, those are usually the ones you want to focus on to try to make uh, the eliminations. If it's a cell over here that doesn't have any colors in it, you can pretty much ignore them. They're not going to help you with the AIC. Uh, just, they got to be a bye bye cell. They got to have some color in it. Uh, these are the ones you're going to try to eliminate, though, and help you move on. So at this point, the first uh, alternate inference chain that I find is I can start with this six right here. And so with this six, I'm going strong link to this six here. So strong, weak to the two, which a strong link is a circuit weak link. So I'll say weak to kind of make sure I'm alternating between strong and weak links. Strong to six, weak to the two, strong to this two, the only two's in there. Uh, weak to this three, strong to this three, weak to this nine, strong to this nine, weak to this one, strong to that one, weak to this six, strong to this six. Okay, so we start at this six. So either this six is true, but if it's false, what this alternate inference chain told us is that this would end up being a six. So any cell that sees both of them, you can eliminate a six. So if that is so a six is either there or there, we can eliminate the six from right here. So that is an AIC type one. All right, I'm gonna show you uh, another one that we can find, and it's gonna be with the nines. So we start with this nine right here. And you go strong link to this nine, right? There's only two nines in class row five. Weak to the three, strong to this three. Now you go weak to this three. So I can go from here to here because they're both within the same block. Weak to three, strong to that five. It's strongly linked because it's within the by by cell. Weak to this five, strong to this nine. So now we use more uh, by by cell strong links, but still is a valid alternate inference chain type one. So your nine's either here or it's there. We can eliminate this nine from right there. Kind of cool, huh? All right. Those are some of the alternative change you can make. The one that's going to really break this puzzle open is with this seven right here. And so I'm going to start and show you. Uh, with this seven, you go strong to two, weak to this two, strong to the six. Weak to this six, strong to that six. Weak to this one, strong to this one. Weak to this nine, strong to that nine. Weak to this nine, strong to this seven. Remember, by value cell, it's strongly linked. Um, and what draws you in if you're like, why are you looking, Tim, like to figure it out? This particular block, this block four is doing a lot of work for you because you have these links between the nines, ones, sixes, and fours. You have these two BVCs. You know there's something going on here that's going to help you make those connections. So like all the eliminations you saw had to do with block four. So if you're trying to figure out where can I start with a alternate inference chain, things like this where there's a lot of a lot of links, a lot of colors, different cell, usually where you can start. So we start with this seven. So either the seven is true or 
If it's false, that seven is true. We can eliminate that seven. This is huge. You can also eliminate these sevens because they, they share the same cells, right? As the two pinks. This is huge because I eliminated a colored seven. What that means is, well, that's one end of a conjugate pair. So I eliminate color seven. The other seven that was colored with has to be the solution. So it's, it was colored with this seven. So we can solve that for seven. We can solve this for a nine. We can solve this for a one. And now you see you have a seven, eight pair uh, right here. And I'm going to get rid of this color and this color. And uh, you end up with a two, nine naked pair right there. I'll just kind of color that so you can see a two, nine naked pair. So you can get rid of that two, you can get rid of that nine. That's huge. And what, believe it or not, I'm actually going to get rid of all the colors, right? I call this the Christmas tree because it's very, very bright and colorful. You need to do the alternate inference chain to connect and to solve the seven. And then you can get back to probably more of the techniques you're familiar with seeing. So the next thing you can use is a XY chain. All right. And the XY chain is going to start here. And I'll go back to the orange colors. So two to the nine, nine to the two, two to the one. Uh, two to the nine, nine to the two, right? Two to the one, one to the six. Okay, yeah, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Two to the nine, nine to the two, two to the one, one to the three. Three to the one, one to the eight, eight to the six, six to the two. So you start here, XY chain, and I have an XY chain tutorial. I'll put a link right now. Go check it out. Great. Re you know, really helps you understand these AICs. If this is not a two, that's going to be a two. Right? So any cell you see, you can eliminate a two. So there's no two here, and there's no twos across, you know, row four, but there's no twos there anyway. So you can solve that for a four, that for a six, this for a one, this for a two, this for a seven. This for an eight, this for a six. Uh, and looking, is there any other easy solves? No. Okay, the next echo chain has to do with this four here, and you want to end in this four down here. So I'll give you a few seconds. See, if, you know, pause the video, see if you can find an XY chain that'll connect this four to this four. And so you can eliminate any of the four they both see. Here we go. Four to three, three to two, two to the six. Six to the one, one to the two, two to the nine, nine to the four, right? Either that's a four, if that's not a four, this is a four. No four there, no four there, no four there. This is the only four left in the block, so that has to be a four. All right, and from that point on, uh, we got one other advanced strategy before we crack the puzzle. And the advanced strategy is an XY wing and it's a kind of a cool XY wing because the three different cells are in three different blocks uh, here's your pivot here's your pinchers so you got a one two and a nine all right the three different candidates if this is a two that's a one if this is a nine that's a one any cell that's both see the purple can't have a one so you eliminate that and that can't be a one and from that point uh, the puzzle pretty much cracks, right? Now, going back, you could find some other ways to solve. Actually, when I first did the puzzle, I ran to a spot where I saw like a, a sued coke, um, and I thought that was kind of cool. But this variation where I just did the minimum amount of alternate inference chains to kind of get to the point where I could do the XY chains, I thought was a pretty elegant way to solve the puzzle and explain some of these strategies. So have fun with that. You could go back there again and kind of look and see if you find some more strategy methods to do different parts of the puzzle. Thank you, Roy the Geek, for showing this to me. I do appreciate it. Uh, I like using these as kind of like you know training to kind of figure out more advanced strategies. This was a fun solve. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to Smart Hobbies. Don't miss any new content. Come back every day in February. Get a new video. In the meantime, check out these other videos from my channel. Thank you all so much for watching.